Hey guys, it's Amelie. Um, today I am filming a new video that is going to be a reading vlog because I said in my weekly reading vlog that I posted last that I want to try to continue doing reading vlogs but for one specific book each vlog. So right now I'm reading, uh, like if I add this book for this vlog, I'm reading nine books. So... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this book, do this whole vlog, and then go back to like all my other books. So I'm just like gonna wait, like pause on them for a bit. So the book I'm going to be reading in this vlog is Anyway the Wind Blows by Rainbow Rowell. So this is the third book in the Carry On series. And I read Carry On and Wayward Sun either last year or the year before. So I can't like remember them really well, but I remember I really did love them. Um, Wayward Sun wasn't as good, but I remember I was like obsessed with Carry On. So um, when I saw that the third book was coming out, I was very excited because like I want to go back to the story and like see if I still love the characters like I did years ago. Um, so I think this video is going to contain spoilers because if I'm going to do just one video for one particular book, I want to be able to talk about it and share my opinions like with spoilers. So if you haven't read it and you don't want to know what happens, I wouldn't watch this video. Um, yeah, so I ordered this from Amazon and I just came yesterday with some other books. So what I think I'll do is after this video or maybe like in a few weeks I'll do a book haul so that I can show all the books that I've ordered while I've been in lockdown. So yeah, I'm not very good at reading vlogs, like I've only done a couple but I'm very bad at updating and like sharing my thoughts so I'm gonna try a little harder this time and yeah. So I'm gonna start reading now, I have a little bit of a headache but I think I'm just gonna take it easy, like try to read maybe the first 20 pages or so and then I'm going to try to do like a 24 hour readathon type of thing today because it's Saturday. And I don't, probably won't stay up because I'm really tired. I haven't been sleeping a lot lately. So I'll probably like go to bed. But I'm going to try to read a lot of this weekend. And yeah, I'll update you. <laughs> I'm on call now and what are you guys going to be reading? Uh, maybe someday, Colleen Hoover. Kelly, are you going to read the whole thing? I don't think I'm ever going to read it. <laughs> oh. That was just the closest book. Okay. Um, <laughs> Fine. Okay, so someday. we're probably, <laughs> we're probably going to read soon. I only got up to page, I think I got up to page 16 in my time lapse. Yeah, page 16. So I'm going to try to read at least up to page 100 today, if I can. I bet you can. What are you, are you reading that? Ew. <laughs> you told me I had to read it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Anyway, that's all. Okay, so I'm about up to page 59 now, and I thought I would just do a little update. So I found that even though I can't really remember what happened in the last two books, it doesn't really matter all that much. And, like, I easily was able to remember who all the characters were once I read, like, part of the book. Um, right now I'm actually really mad at Simon, because, like, his character's just really annoying me for some reason. I don't know. But, like, reading it again is reminding me how much I love Baz, and he's actually, like, one of my favorite, favorite characters ever. So, yeah, but I haven't read really enough to, like, have an op much of an opinion yet, but so far I really like it. Just Simon's, like, attitude and actions are annoying me, but I'm going to keep reading now, and I'll update you again soon. Hey, so I thought I'd form an update because I'm on page 120 now, and I love this book so much like 
I don't know, I feel like it, I thought it was going to be really hard to like connect with the characters again because it's been so long since I read the first two books, but I'm just, I'm on call with my friends and every single time something happens in this book, my instinct is to like go on the Skype call and like start ranting about how much I love Simon and Baz, but now I've realised like I need to save all of those reactions for the vlog so I think for now on I'm going to try to like update the vlog more when something happens that like affects me so I literally like forgot how much I love Baz like and now like I don't know Simon's like not being annoying anymore and they're like together again and it's just like so beautiful to read I don't know um so yeah, like I have so many emotions like while I'm reading it and then I literally like can't put it into words when I film like a update for the vlog. But I haven't actually cried yet. Like every time something like happens, like my eyes like burn and I feel like I'm gonna cry, but like I don't know. And now like Simon and Bez have like it's the part where they're like finally back together again and it's just so like adorable and yeah, I, I'll try to put my feelings into words better next time I read something that, like, affects me. But for now, I'm just speechless, and I love this book. So far, I think maybe it's definitely not three stars, probably four stars. But I've barely read any. I've only read, like, that much. So it could get a lot better. Yeah, I'll update you again soon. Okay, so I decided that I'm going to start tapping my favourite quotes because before I was just like taking photos of like parts I loved and then sending photos to my friends, but I want to like be able to remember them and go back to them. And I literally like can't, there were at least like four quotes I had a really big reaction to, but I can't really remember them. But I found two that I actually love, so I'm going to share them. So the first one's on page 66 and it's like when Simon and Baz had a fight. And then Baz goes, to, like he says, um, I want to shove him down a thousand flights of stairs and then I want to catch him. And that literally just made me so emotional because like my friend like sent me a photo of that quote weeks ago. And then like when I got to it, I was like, oh my God, like I'm up to that part now. And then this is uh, this other one. And like Baz is like happy that I put butter on his sandwich as if I wouldn't make the world spin backwards if I thought he'd like it better that way. And it's just like... Like, I don't think this book is, like, really, like, well-written, but there's, like, some, like, lines that make me so emotional and, like, are written so beautifully. So I think I'm going to start tabbing with yellow because I don't really do, like, I just choose one colour tab for one book based on, like, the cover colour. So if I read any quotes I really like, I'll tab them and then I might, like, read out some of my favourites. I don't know. But I'm going to keep reading now, and I'll update you again after. Hey, so I forgot to update for a little while, but I think I'm going to do a small update now. So I'm currently on page 262, and I love this book. Like, I love it. The only thing is, I kind of get a bit bored in Penelope and Agatha's chapters. Like, I don't mind reading them, but I feel like I'm just, like, skipping ahead to see when the next, like, Baz or Simon chapter is. Which is kind of bad because, like, I want to be able to enjoy the whole book. But, I don't know, like, I just want to, like, see Baz and Simon's, like, perspective and storyline. Um, but I literally love it. Like, the development of, like, their relationship in this is, like, so, like, beautiful and cute. And I find myself, like, literally screaming out loud at scenes. Like, yeah. So, not really that much has happened. Like, I haven't really tabbed anything else. But I will update if something big happens I just find that like if something happens I react but like I forget to vlog it but I will try um I just want to mention like it's been like one second since I filmed my last update but I just wanted to mention a few other things I forgot to say so first I find I just like about like the writing style and stuff like I find the writing style is a bit simple but I really like it like I find Usually it's a bit difficult for me to like imagine things happening like when I read a book but I find like when I read this book like I can picture everything and I can see the characters and I can like visualize what's going on so like that means like it's written in a way that's like easy to understand and like it I don't know I don't know what I'm saying it's like written in a way that's easy to 
picture it. Also, I find it like I'm like really liking reading it. Like usually with books, I have to like set a goal and I like sometimes struggle to like read all the pages in the goal I set for myself. But I find that I just want to like keep going and I don't have a problem with it. So yeah, I think I'm going to give this book four stars, but obviously I'm not even halfway yet. So I'll have to make a judgment on how good it was at the end. Hey, so it's about midnight now and I think I'm going to stop reading for the night. I got up to page 313, but I'm really tired and I have school tomorrow. So I think I should like start getting ready for bed. Um, I've, I'm starting to notice like that Agatha and Penelope's chapters are a bit shorter. So I don't really mind them as much now. Um, and I kind of like... I'm more interested in like Penelope and Shepard's like part of the story now because I want to see how they like sort out the whole like demon engagement thing but um yeah I'm really loving it I feel like nothing's really happening but I love it so much like I'm just like zooming through I remember reading it so fast it's so fast paced which I love um sorry I can't really think because I'm exhausted but um yeah I'm literally like I know like I'm not really conveying it in the vlog but I am like obsessing over like Simon and Baz like their relationship is literally adorable and even though like I can't really remember the past two books that well like I feel like I just I fell into this one so easily anyway which is a good looks like a good thing so yeah um, I haven't really, like, found any more quotes I wanted to tab, but if I do, I will definitely read them into, like, in the vlog. But, yeah, I love it so far. I know I'm not really doing updates very well, but I love it so far. And I'm going, tomorrow I can't really read during the day because I have to do schoolwork all day. But then tomorrow afternoon I'm, I'm aiming to read about 50 pages at least a day so I can, like, have updates. Um... Yeah, so I'll update you again tomorrow, but I really like how it's going so far. Hey, so it's 8.15pm on Monday night and I finished school for today. Um, I read a little bit of Ignite Me today, even though I should be focusing on the new Carry On book. But I was just like really um, interested to see what happens, even though I'm trying to limit how much of it I read because I won't be able to get the fourth book for a while. But anyway, I finished my schoolwork, well I haven't actually, but I'm stopping my schoolwork for today and I'm going to read now for a bit. So I'm not very good at updating if something happens, but I'm going to try and I want to read at least 50 pages tonight, which I know doesn't sound like much, but like I'm really tired and I have to shower and like do other stuff. So I'm aiming for 50 pages at most, maybe 100 and I'll update you if something happens. I just whacked the book. <laughs> Mini update. Simon just said to Baz that he would have liked to have him as a friend while they were at Watford still. I nearly cried. I didn't cry, but I nearly did. Hey, so I'm now on page 371. Um, I love how, like, it's going so far. Um, the scene I really loved was when, um, so, sorry, I'm really tired, so I'm not making any sense. Um, Simon and Baz went back to Watford and, like, they were going around and, like, talking about, like, when they used to go to school there. And I thought that was such a cute scene. And also, like, when they ran into Agatha. And they were like herding like the goats. I thought that was so cute. Also, um, I've just like had to read a lot of like Agatha and Penelope and Shepherd perspective. And I'm not hating it as much. Like before I was like trying to rush through it to get back to Simon and Baz. But I kind of actually like um Shepherd and Penelope a bit now. So I don't mind reading their chapters that much. Um but I think I'm going to break to shower and then I'll keep reading tonight but I probably won't update again tonight just because I'll probably be too tired or like in my pyjamas so I don't want to film. But um, yeah, I'm really loving it. 
I think it's a four star book like I don't know it takes a lot for me to give a book five stars like even if I love it and there's not a page with anything I dislike like I won't give a book five stars so yeah four stars is pretty good hey so it's Wednesday night and I thought I would finally film an update because I haven't updated the vlog in a while so last night I read about maybe 60 to 70 pages of the book and I remember like I kept stopping to laugh and stopping to squeal but I never filmed it. I'm just very very bad at vlogging. But I'm now on page 449 so I'm getting towards the end now. Um, I finally got up to the part where like Penelope and Shepard joined Baz and Simon so now it's like the whole gang's back together I guess. Um, so I feel like because of that there's gonna be some more action now or like it's gonna to come to like the climax of the book um i didn't really tab anything else except for this one page and i just put the tab at the top of the page because like the whole page was like my favorite page in the book and um sorry i can't get it open it's like when um baz and simon were talking about how baz like stole that girl's voice and how he was actually going to use it on Simon, the tape recorder thing. And then, like, Simon was, like... Oh, no, Baz was trying to, like, back up the fact that he hated Simon or, like, how he acted like he hated him. And he was saying, like, uh, like I pushed him down the stairs. And then um, Simon kept saying, yeah, but, like, I thought that was an accident. And then at the end, he, like, admits it was an accident or something. Like, I can't really remember, but I just remember that page was literally so funny to me. I loved it so much. It's page, um, 442. So I stopped, like, right after that. But, um, I've basically done most of my work for today. I just have to do probably one more hour of something that I didn't get done during the day. But I'm going to read for a bit now, I think, or soon. And then I'm going to, like, finish off my work. And then I'll try to read a bit more tonight. I'm not going to rush. Like, I always feel this need to finish books as quickly as I can. But with this, because it's the last se book in the series and there's not going to be like any more, I just, I think I want to take my time and not stress about finishing it really fast. So yeah, I'll update you if something happens. Hey, so I just got up to the part where they find out that Smith is actually evil and I literally saw this coming. Like, I don't know, I just really had a weird feeling about him and I did not trust him at all. So it's kind of cool to see that I could predict that. Um, so yeah, that's my only update. Hey guys, so I'm just going to film the concluding clip to this video now because I finally finished Anyway the Wind Blows last night. Um, I finished this at about 1.30 in the morning. I was originally, I told myself because I had 40 pages left last night, I was going to read about 20 and then go to sleep and wake up and read the rest. But then like I somehow like read all of it without even realizing so i frantically like i was in my pajamas so and i was half asleep so i didn't really want to film my outro then and my final thoughts so i like frantically wrote down some notes at 1 30 so they're in a very like random order but i thought i would just go through now and try to like tell you a bit about my thoughts so overall i love this book I gave it 4 out of 5 stars because I don't really give books 5 stars unless like they're my favourite books of all time which is only the Infernal Devices. I don't think I've ever given like anything 5 stars besides that. But um, so I just wrote down like some random things I wanted to be able to go through. So first, oh yeah, okay so my rating and then there was one more quote that I tabbed like a few days ago. And I wanted to just like mention it and it's literally the, like the smallest thing it shouldn't even get to me but there was just this part where like um, Penelope was like to Baz all right Baz and he was like all right Buns and it was just like I don't know it was how the chapter ended and it was so it was such a cute scene it was on page um, page 510 um, but yeah so like that one of my points I wanted to make is the only thing I didn't like as much about this book is that you didn't get to see much of um, Penelope and Baz's friendship, which is one of my favourite like parts of like the other books, like how they're like besties. But um, 
yeah but i loved how at the end when they came back together like all of them all the characters came back together i don't know i just love that um and then what was the other thing i wanted to talk about oh agatha and the goat i literally loved that scene where she like was saving the goat like I found Agatha's chapter so boring for some, I don't know. I just wasn't as interested in her and I wanted to just get back to Simon and Baz constantly. But the chapter where she was like saving the goat and like helping it to give birth was literally one of my favorite scenes in the whole book. And she was just, I don't know. And I love how at the end she was like living with the goats. I don't know. It's just so adorable to me, like how far she's come. Um, What else? I wrote, I like how their voices are unique, which isn't really, like, a big thing, but I love how, like, if you read, like, like, if I stopped mid-chapter and I went back, I could tell, like, it was Simon or Baz by the way they were speaking, so I love how, like, they have, like, a unique voice and you can, like, see their personality through the way, like, they talk. Um, I wrote Baz as ultimate comfort character, yeah, um, and I lost track while reading, which I said before. And I, oh yeah, I was so happy that Simon was able to, like, find out about his family at the end. Because, like, I know, like, we as the reader knew that that was his family all along. And I was like, is he going to be able to find out? Like, so now, like, at least he has, like, a grandma and an uncle, <laughs> which is really nice. Um, and, like, another, like, random thing I liked was, like, when Baz took his stepmom home, like, towards the end. And he was, like in the backyard like with his siblings and there was this part where like one of the daughters was like mum's home and like one of the little twins was like no that's Baz and I don't know it was such a it's such a random thing to remember but I thought that scene was so cute and I just wrote emotional happy ending love heart yeah so I found the ending was like really satisfying like it gives you that like happy everything's going to be fine everything's happy like illusion but um yeah, I really did love this book. I'm sorry, like, I didn't really film that much. I, I don't know how much footage there is because I haven't watched it back. But, yeah, overall it took me about a week to finish, which isn't too bad because I also finished Ignite Me, which is the third Shadow Me book this week. So I was, like, a bit into that, especially because it was, like, at the end of the book. Um, and I was reading, like, some from some other books as well that I'm gradually working on. So... Yeah, it was very addictive, and I found, like, at the beginning, I read it so quickly, like, I was just getting through, I was on, like, page 400 after two days, but then towards the end, like, I realised it's all gonna end now, so I wanted to, like, slow down and savour it more, and that's why it took me a few extra days. So my next video will probably be, um, a book haul, because I have ordered a lot of books from Amazon recently, um... And besides that, I think I'm just going to continue with reading vlogs. I probably won't film one for a few weeks because I just want to catch up on all the books I'm currently reading. But then I will, like, select a book that's more, like, hyped up and I might film another reading vlog for that. So comment videos, other videos you'd like to see or, like, other books you'd like to see me read if you have any. Um, like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.